Shalom, shalom. Call on God, Yahweh Bash, with my shock, with my luck, Yahweh Shah. That's all praises, honor, glorification unto the most high God, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Mahashiach, with my luck, Yahweh Shah, the righteous. All right, it's brother Yashallah coming back, y'all, yet another video through the spirit of God, Yahweh Bash, with my shock, with my luck, Yahweh Shah. All right, so I'm going to get straight into this, right? Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6. All right, so I'm going to be talking about basically stress, you know, anxiety. And basically, you know, just having faith in the most high God, right? Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse number uh, 25, right? It says, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. So, hey, the Lord actually said that. The Lord said, take no thought for your life, right? That's kind of deep. Sometimes we hey, we got to meditate upon Yahweh Shah because Yahweh Shah, like, you know, many of our elders say, Yahweh Shah himself is deep, right? So if you're trying to get deep, you're trying to get into all these other books, all these different scriptures, trying to go into Paul's letters, trying to go into the book of Revelation, right? Hey, Yahweh Shah, the gospels literally is deep within itself. Because Yahweh Shah, he said, take no thought for your life. Many people, if they read that, they will get offended. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean, take no thought, right? I have to take thought in my life. Hey, the Lord said, take no thought for your life, right? When it says what? What ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, or nor get for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? So the Lord said, the, the, the life, life, our life is more than meat. Our life is more than just raiment. You know what I'm saying? We have a lot of our people, you know, a lot of us who might be, get caught up in the affairs of this life. We might get caught up about, you know, what what, what am I going to eat? What am I going to put on? Sometimes we just got to have faith in the Lord, right? We're thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow, right? As he states, let's go, to, let's go down to verse 60, 34. Take, therefore, no thought for the morrow. Sometimes we're thinking about the future. We, we be thinking about the future too much and not focusing on the present, right? And that's what, we, that's what we're going off at, right? We can't just focus on the future, right? And let that, that anxiety just creep up on us about the future. Because we don't even know. The Lord said, boast not of tomorrow, right? For you know not, uh, you know not what a day shall bring forth in Proverbs 27 and 1. Why are we, why are we talking about tomorrow, Right? We got to deal, let's deal it. Sometimes we just got to deal it day by day, right? Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of for the things of itself. Hey, it's going to, if it comes, it comes, man, right? We just, hey, that's how Yahweh Shah taught, right? That's what he taught. Sometimes we just got to play it like that. We just got to play it by ear, you know what I'm saying? If it comes, it comes, you know? Why are you thinking about stuff that's going to, you know, why are you stressing about stuff that might come six months from now? We don't know if we're going to be here. You don't know if you're going to be here. You don't know if that thing is even going to come to pass six months from now, right? But we're stressing about that, right? It says, for the moral shall take thought for the things of itself. If it comes, you're going to deal, with, you're going to deal with it when it comes. Because we got a lot, a lot of stuff we got to deal with, deal with today. Right now in this present moment, we got, we got a lot of stuff to deal with. Why are you trying to deal with the things Right of right now and of the things of tomorrow it doesn't make any sense, right? That's what Yahweh Shah is teaching. He's teaching about stress, right? Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. We we got enough evil to deal with today, this this day, right? Right now, you watching this video, we got enough evil to deal with, right? Uh, for today. So why are you trying to why are you trying to um why are we, you know, trying to Deal with the evil of today and of tomorrow and of next week. It doesn't make any sense, right? It's too much, right? But let's go back up here, right? Matthew 6 and verse 26. Behold the fowls of the year, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Right, we're better than these damn fowls of the year. The Lord said that the man has dominion over beasts, right? In the book of Sirach, it'll tell you that. That man has dominion over beasts. The Lord gave the, uh, man uh, uh, dominion over, over uh, the fowls and the beasts and the creeping things and every other thing, right? So we're, we're better than them. And you're a, we're in this truth, right? So if you understand that, that means that you're better than certain other people, right? Because you're in this truth. The Most High, he gave you this knowledge, right? And that spirit, you know? Verse 27. So we're, we're, we're better than them because the Lord, he feeds these these animals, but they don't toil, right? They don't sow. They don't they don't go to work, you know? They don't read scriptures, but yet the most I still feeds them. Alright? Verse 27. 
which of you by taking thought can add one cubit onto a stature? So the Lord taking thought means having stress. So which one of us by having stress can add a cubit, meaning add to our uh, um add um height to our you know um height basically? He's he's literally asking how many of us by taking thought basically by having stress can uh, um get taller you know what i'm saying through the spirit that that can't happen you can't do that you know you literally can't do that you can't get taller by thinking about it you can't get taller by uh, um having all this stress so that stress is unnecessary man right it's unnecessary you know it's unnecessary and really stress you know is the the symbol of not having faith in the most high you know stressing about certain things that might come to pass and stuff like that that's that's you know have having not having a sufficient amount of faith right the lord said all things are possible unto him that believe in mark chapter 9 verse 23 right and let's go to mark 11 and verse 25 right well let's go to verse 24 it says therefore what um I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe ye shall ye receive them, and ye shall have them. The Lord said, believe that ye should receive them, and you're going to have it. That's what, that's what the Lord said, right? If you believe, you know, if we believe, if we have faith in the Most High, we're not going to have that stress, right? Because we know that the Most High, if the if the Most High is for us, who can be against us, man? Right? If the Most High is for us, who can be against us? Literally nobody, right? Romans eight and verse uh uh right right uh hold on let me let me get this preset right who can be against us it's the book oh con con's right there all right Romans chapter eight verse thirty one what shall we say then to these things if God be for us who can be against us right the most high is for us nobody can be against us man right. If the most high is for us, we and we're for the most high, then nobody or anything, any other power can be against us. Remember, no you can't do anything against the truth before the truth, man. Right? So if these damn demons trying to bring us down, right? These demons trying to bring you down, right? A uh Satan, he's trying to bring you down. Esau's trying to bring you down, the other nations trying to bring you down. Hey, this hey, this is thrown at you, this is thrown at you, all that stuff. Hey, if the most high is for us. The most high is for you. Hey, who can be against you, man? Right? So we just have to have faith in the most high God. Right? And we pray that that what? The Lord increases our faith. Let's go to the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 24. Right? And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. So we want the most high to help us with our unbelief. Because really, we don't have have that this ultimate faith like how the apostles did. If we did, we will be able to raise up the dead. Literally. We would be able to walk on water. But we can't do that. So we still have to strive to get that faith like how the apostles did, man. They were ready to drop everything for the most high God and die. Do we have that faith? Right? Do we have that believance? Alright, so with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashimashah Mamalaki Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, this is edifying, brother Yasha Allah. Shalom.